Hello friends, welcome to downtown Orlando. I'm running some errands today. Picked up some new threads. That means clothes. Actually, they're used. I go to this place called Out of the Closet. It's like the greatest thrift store in Orlando, so far as I know. It's the only reason why I go there is for their great clothes and great people. So I guess there's more reasons. Anyway, I am checking out this brewery. It's right down the street from Out of the Closet. It is called 1010. I believe that I have been here before. I cannot quite remember. I've been to a lot of breweries, as you might assume. I think I've been here. Let's let's check it out. I gotta remind myself, right? Okay. Yes, yeah, definitely been here before. thing on? Is it on? Oh, well, that's the name of the beer. Is this thing on? It's a Imperial Stout. Vanilla? Quite good. It reminds me of the Rogue Chocolate Stout. Somehow. It's very good. It's got a nice tasting room here. 1010's got some great beers on tap. I do remember this place. They do this cool thing where if you bring a record in, they'll play it. I think it's like Wednesdays or Fridays or something, one or, one or two days a week. You can bring your record in, whatever you want. They'll play one whole side of the record for everybody in the whole place. It's pretty cool. But the, the beers they have on are interesting. They have apple strawberry hard cider, a coconut barrel aged barley wine, a cafe mocha pale ale. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'd like to try a couple of these before I leave. And I'm going to. You make it so easy, dude. What is it? Black gold. Right on. It's gonna be a white stuff. Thanks, man. All I told the bartender was, I like the last one. Give me something that's kind of like it or better. And he said, okay, just pour one. Full on pour it. Didn't even ask me, which I, I'm okay with that. It's the black gold. Black gold. Golden stout. Chocolate and coffee. Okay. It was like a I feel like this bartender knows me already. It's an excellent beer. Wow. Look at the color of that. Can you taste the coffee? I wish there was taste of these. The coffee and the chocolate. I don't taste much chocolate. I taste a lot of coffee. It's a good beer though. Something I noticed is there is no coasters anywhere on the bar. No one has coasters. I kind of like it. I like collecting coasters because I have an idea for a Christmas tree this year. Oh, I've done it before. I had a coaster Christmas tree. It was pretty cool. But I can't get one here because they don't have any. And I'm okay with that because what's the point really? I mean, all it takes is a rag and wipe the, the countertop down or the bar down. Big deal, right? Yeah, man. Can I try the Sunday Best? But... I want a full one of the black lager. Gotcha. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Look at that. A lot of breweries will let you try their beer. You can just take a little taster just like this. Don't take advantage of it, though. It's not cool. You try two or three, maybe four. You're pushing it. Five. Get out of town, right? Just make your decision, okay? Which I did. All right. The black lager. Let's see how it is. Ooh. That is smooth. That's probably. Correctly about this, that, that might be the smoothest of black lagers that I have ever had. It's very smooth. Awesome. A little bit malty. Tastes very lagery. Just right. Black lagers are like a, a, a lager. The picture like a Miller Lite with some flavor. That's what this is. A lot of flavor. It's great. Nothing like a Miller Lite. I hope you know what I'm saying. The Sunday Best is a Neapolitan brown ale. You know, like Neapolitan ice cream, space ice cream. One of my favorite things on the planet. So I'm always attracted to these. Wow. Maybe I should have got that. It's very good. It's a little sweet, but it tastes like the beer version of space ice cream. They should call it space ice cream. What the red cone is for? Yeah. I wonder if it ever rings. Beer to go. We also have some games. I like their brew house set up here. It's pretty 
pretty uh, concise, very small. Something else I really like is the way that they built the bar. Check out these rivets. Pretty cool. Okay, 1010 is awesome. Right now, this time of day on a Saturday, the beers are very affordable, under $5 a piece. I got a half a beer, it was half that price, so there's not like an upcharge for just having a half a beer. Got to taste a couple things. Obviously that is for free. And the people are very kind here. This is a great brewery. 1010 is a great brewery. This is a really nice spot right downtown Orlando. If you're in the downtown area, shopping around, doing your thing, drop in here, try some of their beers. They got some great stuff on tap. I highly recommend it. Something I should mention is that 1010 does have their own kitchen. They have great food there. I just didn't try any, so I can't rate them on the food, but I say they're a great brewery. 1010 Brewing Company is one of my go-to spots here in the City Beautiful, and this is how I rank them. I'm giving them a four for their beer. Excellent beer. Their staff gets a four. For the ambiance, I'm giving them a three. For the location, a four. They're close to a lot of other great breweries near downtown Orlando. And the price, I'm giving them a three. They do get two bonus points as well. One, because they're kid friendly, and two, because they have their own kitchen, and it's very good. Although I have to deduct a bonus point because they also have Jenga. All of that in total gives 1010 Brewing Company a 19. Friends, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'll see you at the next brewery.